This is um, early 90s, back when Nirvana was still a thing. My wife is in the audience. She doesn't know this story. She's probably going to get horribly jealous, but <laughs> here goes. So I met this new girl. This is way before Tinder. Actually, when you had to talk to people, <laughs> you walked up and you said, hey, baby. So I met her, and um, I had a whole bunch of friends. We all mountain biked together and this and that. We were planning this mountain bike weekend up near Pine Creek in the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. She goes, I want to go along. All right. Well, my buddy's cabin up there, it was just one step above a dirt floor. No running water. Had an outhouse. Spring was pretty close to the outhouse. You can figure that out. We stayed in a tent. I don't know. I didn't know it was the boyfriend's job to bring two sleeping bags. And my sleeping bag was one of those mummy bags. I wasn't sharing. This is in the fall. It got a little chilly that night. But we got a bunch of blankets and she was cold. Saturday morning we get up. By chance we're out. I don't know how we ended up there. We're at a yard sale in the mountains. They had an electric blanket. This is the first documented case of glamping ever. We ran an extension cord out of the cabin to the tent. She used the electric blanket, stayed nice and warm. We went for a mountain bike ride. She wanted to go along. Now I know this is a mistake. You never take your girlfriend mountain biking. Well, usually. So we take her. My friends are being patient. We're going down this huge hill. They're being patient because she's wrecking all over the place. I'm trying not to laugh. I want to laugh. She's getting frustrated. She finally loses her temper. She pushes her mountain bike down the side of the mountain. And I'm thinking for sure this thing's just going to hit a tree and be done. This thing went forever and didn't hit a tree. It was amazing. It's bouncing down through. My friend's mouths are wide open. I'm standing there looking at her and I'm thinking, you're crazy. I said, you know you're going to have to get that. She goes, yeah, I know. I'm going to have to get that. So she goes down over the hill and this trail switch backs back and forth. And I told her how to get out to the road and I said, just go out to the road and wait there. We'll pick you up then. And I'm thinking to myself, do I need to pick her up? <laughs> Hopefully someone will come pick her up. So I'm riding with my friends. We're having a good time. We ride back to the top of the mountain. We get a truck. We come back. She's still waiting there. Damn it. Pick her up, take her back. All right, so we spend the rest of the day eating chips and salsa, drinking beer, and doing what guys do in the woods with whatever, mountain bikes and stuff. We go to bed. Sunday morning we get up, one more ride, then we'll go. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we're gonna have to go through this again. Nope. Either a bear or a porcupine ate her seat. Just her seat. Why did he eat her seat? I don't know. I don't want to go there. So she had no freaking seat on her mountain bike. <laughs> the best mountain bike ride ever. Because she didn't get to go along. Believe it or not, she actually went on some more dates with me. I couldn't believe it. But that had to be the worst date ever, at least for her. I thought it was kind of cool. Thanks.